Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Captain Shack, and this is Modern Indie News, your weekly resource for all news and exciting info that's coming out of the modern indie communities this week. This episode, we'll be taking a look at the release for the Unreal Engine 4, a Skyrim mod called Return of Helgen, Blinding Dark gets an update, along with Stalker Misery mod, Black Ice gets greenlit on Steam, Search and Rescue gets a beta release, Excubiter gets ported to the Unity engine, and OpenMW gets a new release. Some really exciting news for game devs came in the form of a new development engine. Unreal Engine 4 is a professional suite of tools and technologies used for building high quality games across a range of platforms. Its rendering architecture enables developers to achieve stunning visuals and also scales elegantly to low end systems. The engine will be running on a subscription based model for developers and if you head over to their page on IndieDB, you'll find links to all sorts of tutorials to get you started on making that project you've had rattling around in your head. Return to Helgen is a mod for Skyrim that starts when you enter the City of Solitude for the first time. Helgen will appear as a functional imperial military outpost with shops and mines you can own, hunting guilds and so forth. As you go through the Civil War quest line, Helgen watches and updates itself according to your choices. It really gives you the feeling that your choices matter. You get to see real world changes depending on your actions and different quest lines open up depending on what you want to accomplish in Skyrim Civil War. The events in the mod are triggered based on events in the official Skyrim quest line, so things happen exactly when they need to. If you want to give that poor town of Helgen some life in your Skyrim game, be sure to download this mod from their ModDB page. Blinding Dark is a first person shooter horror game. In the game you have to complete puzzles, collect items and power-ups, fight enemies, and do your best to manage the very thin resources you have at your disposal. It will have a total of 6 acts, and each act will take place in a different environment while adding to the story and gameplay. The game has been recently updated to version 0.8.5, and with it there have been a number of changes including a new lighting system, a new texture for a final weapon, and the addition of torches as an item that can interact with the environment and cast some dynamic lighting on the environment around you. You can download the demo from their NDD page and see the work they've done so far. Misery is a full scale modification for Stalker Call Proprieta that touches every game aspect, including textures, sound effects, music, weapons, AI, items, weather, mutants, difficulty, and much, much more. The 2.1 version of the game takes all the previous patches and implements into a single release and adds a number of new changes. The complete change log can be found over on their mod DB page. According to the mod author, Quote, if you found the exclusion zone of Stalker Call Proprieta a bit too warm and cuddly, take heart. Misery Mod 2.1 is here to kick you in the teeth, knock you to the ground, and fill your bleeding mouth with irradiated soil. So, if you're looking for a new challenge and an overall upgrade to your Stalker gameplay, you might want to go ahead and download this mod today. Black Ice is a hack and shoot. It's a cyberpunk first person shooter slash hack and slash RPG about hacking. You know, the computer kind. Think Borderlands meets Tron. The cyber world is procedurally generated, the colors are neon, the loot is randomized, and the lasers are loud. This game has tons of weapons and enemies for you to test your metal against, and looks like it's going to be tons of endless fun. The art style and the game mechanics work well in generating an atmosphere that fits with the game. It's currently in alpha and it has recently been added to the Steam Greenlight project. You can get early access alpha version for about 5 bucks. Check out their IndieDB page for more details. Search and Rescue is a mod that adds a new win condition to Dawn of War Soulstorm. If activated, it offers you a total new mode of gameplay. That may remind you a bit of the Dark Elder Stronghold mission in the Soulstorm campaign. So you'll start with the game with a bunch of units and without a base. Then, you have to discover the train and find cages controlled by the defending Eldar player. By destroying a cage, you free a prisoner joining you and your allies team. If a player rescues all the prisoners, then they have to bring them back to a drop point to get backup. A team wins by accomplishing this or killing all the enemies on the opposing team. The team has just released the first beta, so you can go ahead and try out this mod and see how you like the new game mode. In a militaristic future where mankind has conquered the furthest reaches of space, the crew of a lone research vessel called the Antares lies dormant near an off-world mining colony until it receives a distress signal and executes a surveillance mission. Upon descending on the planet, you discover that the colony's defensive have turned against you. There, you must battle the war machine of humanity, now controlled by a sentient entity of unknown origin. As the player, you are the pilot of a space fighter, the only one trained and capable of fending off the enemy and defending the Antares. This is Excubiter, the game that has recently been ported to the Unity engine by developers and the game still has a lot of work to be done before it's completed. 
but the alpha version is available on their IndieDB page. So if you like to try out this game of ships, guns, and explosions, and I mean honestly, who doesn't like explosions, head on over to their page. As a final bit of news, we have some progress on another new game engine. OpenMW is a new and modern engine based on the one that runs the 2002 game of the year, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. The engine, OpenMW, will come with its own editor, OpenCS, which will allow the user to edit or create their own games. The team has released version 0.29.0 of their engine and it comes with a ton of new features and changes, most notably being the implementation of the save load feature, which catapults OpenMW closer to being completely playable. Other new features include more combat, AI blocking, area magic, and disease. The engine is still a ways from being complete, but it will no doubt foster a slew of new and exciting games when it's done. And that's it for our episode of Mod and Indie News. Be sure to support your favorite mods and indie games. I'm Captain Shaq, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.